from my experience of the UK is that there the melting pot of cultures there's a lot more integration cultural integration happening and I think obviously that life filters into music and music fil filters into life everybody's just quite close once you come with the goods you know as opposed to um, because of the color of your skin um, you, you don't have the goods like if you have the goods you have the goods I've been writing for a while and um, was always trying to you know create those songs that had the perfect formula yeah I was just at this time where I was just it was just about honesty and transparency and I began to write some songs and collaborate with some you know beautiful uh, talented people and one of the songs that was created was Lose It All uh, which is also called Lose It All Running. On the journey I had just recently done my uh, publishing deal with uh, Sony ATV and um, they introduced me to uh, Naughty Boy so um, we got together we started sharing uh, music and stuff with each other and he heard the version that we had at the time and was just like loves it loves it let's collaborate with it together and then the you know the dream of all dreams happened and yeah cut long story short uh, Beyonce heard the record and was like no like let's do it together I, you know I just felt that maybe she was at a point in her life where it just resonated with her and connected and then we did it The same gang that um, I sat down with to create Running Lose It All, um, we went in again and we started this Freedom record and um, it, we took what we had done to her and she was like, yeah, this is moving in the right direction, let's collaborate and complete the pieces and then Just Blaze was brought in um, to kind of like put the icing on the cake. Um, so yeah, it was it's kind of, yeah, and as for Kendrick, I don't know, you can't even call that icing, there needs to be something more than icing, or ice thing, I don't know what they call it in this country. Even though I'm a songwriter and I can write loads of different songs and loads of different styles for many people, I think I've just kind of taken this position now that I write contemporary hymns, and that's my position regardless of who I get the call from or whether or not it's for myself. I don't even look at it as pushing boundaries, I look at it as the title of the song. It's just freedom. Um, freedom doesn't have boundaries. Um, I looked at it as we live in an audiovisual world. The fact that the visuals and the audio tie in so beautifully, and they are, there is, you know, there's so much in the whole piece. There is, there is uh, sorrow. There is. Um, vulnerability, there is empowerment, um, there is sometimes I'm just vexed and angry. Um, it's human, it's human. I didn't really look at it as a woman empowerment, I, I, I looked at it as empowerment for, for, for all. You know, uh, I'm a man, but freedom I subscribe to. Love and Hate actually came about as part of the EP. Um, I am that crazy guy that, though I, you know, will listen to Kirk Franklin and be like, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I also listen to Panda and don't say yes, Lord, but I put my hands up in the air. Um, so I felt like the I got almost like a new lease of life when I was told, you know, maybe we should try doing an EP because it meant that my musical uh, uh, tastes were explored a little bit more and it just was a little bit more edgier. Every piece on this album, uh, when this thing drops, which I can't wait, um, is created from a perspective of a visual. So that's why I was extremely inspired when I saw Lemonade. Um, because I was like, okay, you know, we may not be the same level of artists, but we are thinking along similar lines. Hey guys, this is Ara Benjamin and you're watching Revolt TV. Thank <laughs> you.